Wow, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shannon and I'm so happy to be back. I haven't posted in about a month. I was working on my arm surgery recovery and just a quick update. It's doing really, really well. Here is one of the scars. Here's the other one. And then the lastly, my elbow scar. And I'm in physical therapy for four more weeks until early May. And then hopefully everything will be good to go. Everything feels really good in terms of pain. Um, it's just the movement wise so you can see like it just doesn't you know work as well as the other one yet but that's we're working on a physical therapy besides that today i want to take you through a full day of what i eat in a day eating vegan and eating homemade easy to make meals i love cooking i didn't always love cooking but once we started eating vegan about a year and a half ago i definitely understood that i wanted to make a lot of our food at home i didn't love all of the processed vegan foods even though i eat some of the cheese i like to make a lot of that stuff at home and it's pretty easy so i wanted to share today exactly what i eat breakfast through dessert and i'll show you the exact recipes there are such simple things like breakfast and snacks and dessert that i'm eating and for lunch and dinner, I do like to make a little bit more. So let's go. As soon as I wake up, I have to drink water, specifically 9.5 pH water. This has molecular hydrogen. It's so hydrating to the body. And I'll try and drink a 16 ounce cup of this before I eat anything else or drink my coffee. You can see with these little tiny bubbles, this water is literally alive. So if you have the chance to try some of this, do it. It is life changing. After I drink my water, it is time for coffee and breakfast. This is the best coffee creamer, the Silk Soy Creamer. Next, I get my oatmeal ready. I use a quarter cup of oats and a half cup of water. And I have this little breakfast station over here, so I'm just gonna refill my oats. I froth my soy creamer and it's so good. Just going to heat my oatmeal up and I love to add peanut butter or almond butter. I'm out of peanut butter, so here we are left with almond butter and I always use cinnamon. I love adding a little bit of cinnamon to it. This is my breakfast mainly every day, mostly because it's super easy to make, filling and really good for you. And we are headed into lunch. We're making one of my favorite burritos today. You need chickpeas, one red onion, one sweet potato, one red pepper, some hummus, I love this one, and a bunch of spices, chili powder, cumin, coriander, garlic powder, salt, and some olive oil. I make sure I wash the chickpeas first and put them on a pan. I also use this amazing reusable baking sheet and then I just make sure I chop up the red pepper, sweet potato, and onion and add them all to the pan as well. Next, just add the olive oil, salt, and all the rest of the spices. Mix everything together and bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. I had some crackers while I waited because I definitely got a little hungry. These are delicious. So to get the burrito going, just take a tortilla and I like to heat it on both sides for 15 seconds. Do this right as everything else in the oven is done. I love using anything left over the fridge, so I had some vegan cheese that I added as well. Then I just add the hummus and I actually had some leftover pesto that I used, it was super good. And then I just add everything that was cooked in the oven and I bring it over to a plate just to roll it up into a burrito. Burritos are kind of hard to roll, so don't make fun of my rolling skills. And then I just put that in the pan so it can heat up. And I start on the other one. I always make an extra one for my boyfriend. I love making this meal specifically because I always have leftovers for lunch for like two or three days after this. And here it is. I am definitely obsessed with it and I know you will be too. Let me know in the comments if you guys try this one. And now we're on to snacks. I don't know about you, but around two o'clock or three, I definitely need something to hold me over until dinner. I love these Borger protein shakes. The nuts and vanilla one is really good. I usually only drink half of these at a time, so I'll just drink half one day and half the next day. But my absolute favorite one is the banana and dates one. Okay, next step is a Go Macro Bar. These are so perfect for if you're on the go, just put it in your car, so easy. 
These come in a bunch of different flavors, but my favorite is this oatmeal chocolate chip one. My last favorite snack is some fresh fruit. Watermelon, of course, and now that it is almost summer, everything is getting back in season. So I make sure I cut up all my fruit right when I get the groceries in the house because it's so easy to just grab and eat instead of having something that's not so good for you. I also have some melon here. I actually prefer cantaloupe, but they didn't have any. So just some plain melon is also really good. And last but not least, I actually love grapes. These are really easy to snack as well. And now it's dinner time. So instead of using chicken, I use this plant-based chicken. It looks just like it cooks super easily. And I'll pair this with some greens. Today I'm using green beans. And then I'm gonna use a bunch of sauces. So I'll use tamari sauce, coconut aminos, teriyaki sauce, sesame oil. And I had some leftover mushrooms, so I just added them in, but totally optional. I love to eat this with farro. You can also use rice or another grain. This takes about 30 minutes to make, so I get it started before cooking anything else. I also add just a pinch of salt. Next, I start chopping up the mushrooms, and when there's 10 minutes left on the farro, I start cooking everything else. So I'm gonna start with some olive oil, and I put this on medium heat. I'm gonna put in this fake chicken and the green beans. I just put everything all together, and it cooks really well, adding the mushrooms. The more you add, the longer it will take to cook. So just add a few more minutes if you're adding other things, a little bit more olive oil. And then I'm just going to move it around to make sure everything gets the heat for about seven to 10 minutes. I'm just adding some garlic powder here because I'm obsessed with garlic powder. So add any other spices here that you love. After about seven minutes, when this is almost ready to be done, then I add all of my sauces. Make sure everything is nicely coated. Give it a few more minutes here. And this is the farro after it's drained. This is how it looks. And dinner is served. I also love this meal because I'm going to have leftovers for at least one or two more days. And lastly, dessert. If you have a sweet tooth, this one is for you. These ice cream bars come in a few different flavors, are literally 90 calories. Organic, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, kosher, fair trade, everything. These are the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Comment below if you have any questions about these meals or would love to see more of how I make my vegan home cooked easy meals. I am really committed to showing up here more than just once a month. I did take that month off for my surgery recovery, but I am back you guys. And thank you so much for being here and supporting me through it. I'll catch you guys next time.